How long does it take to pull a seven-ton aircraft 238 meters uphill? Well, for this team of engineers at RAF Crossford, it takes three minutes and 13 seconds. A little harder than you think. <laughs> we started off well though, didn't we? Um, but definitely towards the end, felt like the sun was in my calves. <laughs> the burning. Oh. That got hard after about halfway. Started going up the slope. And those last 50 meters, it's really quite hard. But we did it. It's all done. <laughs> Just a little bit fatigued. Yeah. Legs, calves burning. Um, as I predicted, downhill to begin with, <laughs> and uphill at the end. It definitely wasn't an easy challenge for the team of four, but one with great significance, as it was for the charity staffer. We just thought, why not have a go at pulling the aircraft along the route that we normally uh, train technicians on? So that was the idea, really, just to have a go at pulling the jet rather than uh, rather than using the tractor. Uh, the squadron number is two three eight squadron, so we thought, why not two three eight meters to support the charity? Really, part of the part of the service community, part of the community here at Cosford, a charity that's, that's close to our, all our hearts. Really, being in the military. With half term in full swing, all the trainees have gone home for the holidays, but watching on was the next generation. It was good. Um, it looked very heavy, didn't it? Yeah, it looked heavy. Did the men do well, do you think? Yeah. Now it's back to the hangar for this Jaguar and back to work for the engineers. Kirsty Chambers, Forces News, RAF Cosford. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.